Hi, John. Welcome to my show. Jennifer Baker's new show at Rosemont College contains two bodies of work, paintings about Northern liberties and paintings which serve as a eulogy to her parents. What's the link between these different types of paintings? The paintings that I did before the pandemic, on and off over a period of about 30 years, documented the neighborhood around my studio, Northern Liberties. What these paintings of Northern Liberties and the paintings of my family have in common is a sense of loss, loss of history and stories and memories, drastic and sudden changes to a neighborhood, and drastic and sudden changes to a family which I think with the pandemic happened to a lot of people more suddenly than might have otherwise happened. Each body of work is fronted by a monumental oil on linen. I have extensively documented her Northern Liberties work in films going back to 2011. For this movie, I wanted to concentrate on the family paintings. But first, here's a quick look at the urban ones. This painting is called Third Street, around the corner from my studio, and it shows the history of the neighborhood in one block. So the building that's being demolished was Mel's studio. It was a studio of a sculptor that I knew, and he would sit in this chair and say hello to people when they passed by, which is how I got to know him. But before that, it was the Tokenita building. It's a bicycle manufacturing business. Now it's gone and it's there's an apartment building there. There's another building that was an artist studio, but before that it was or part of the Ortlieb Beer Brewery. So it shows the changes and evolution of the neighborhood and, and the loss of that history. The people who remember what was there. So what happened, Jenny? What triggered these new paintings of your parents? March 2020, I was called to New York. My father was ill. We thought he had pneumonia in the hospital. It turned out that he had COVID and he died about a week later. And this was right at the beginning of the pandemic. There certainly were no vaccines at that point. My mother, who was 92, also got COVID and recovered, but she died six months later. And I, I'm sure it contributed to her death. 
Jenny left Philadelphia and spent a year and a half helping out at her childhood home. This big painting, Elegy, I did after I came back. There is a portrait of them from a photo that I always loved of them holding hands. But they're sitting in the living room. On the other side, there's me and my sister, and we're sitting out on the patio in summer dresses. There is Trina, who was our live-in caregiver. I made her into a guardian angel figure. The house in the center is the house that I grew up in, and it was the center of the family. It was where everybody gathered. Where was it? Pleasant built in Westchester County in New York. Show us where you, as a little kid, slept. This was my parents' bedroom. This was a guest room. This is my sister's room. My room was around on this side of the house, but in the back. Were you the baby of the family? Absolutely. That's Jenny on the left and Sister Lisa on the right. Absolutely adorable. This was a playhouse behind my parents' house. When we were little, we had toy kitchen things in there, and it was our little private place to play, our own little house. <laughs> There's a pine tree, no pine needles, but it's got black vultures perching in it. They were actually there. We did have an infestation of black vultures in that tree. There's also a bird flying out of the carpet pattern. That is actually a collage element made out of mylar. And there's another collage mylar bird, one of the vultures flying over. The orange sky really takes a viewer's breath away. How did you come up with that idea? The underpainting of Scarlet Lake is just this glowing reddish-orange color, and I used that as a ground, and that influenced all the colors on top. And I actually did use the same underpainting in the Third Street painting. And my intention was to cover it up much more, but then I ended up letting it show through almost everywhere. I had many ideas what to do with that sky. At some point, I was going to put a wallpaper pattern on it. I mean, I had all kinds of crazy ideas. And ultimately, that orange color left from the ground. I liked the way it looked, and I just made it more intense. I added cadmium red and cadmium orange and yellow and made it as intense color as I could. I did use very transparent layers of paint, very thin paint. And it allows the underpainting of Scarlet Lake to show through and it affects all the colors that you put on top of it in sort of an unusual way. The two sides of the painting represent different seasons. So my parents are sitting in an indoor space with a carpet wearing winter clothing. The other side, my sister and I are sitting in summer dresses on a patio outdoors. So there are these strange distortions of reality and time which to me speaks to the distorted nature of the last three years. The show is entitled Lamentations. Anyone who has lost a parent understands the pain. I wanted to hear more about these people. Jenny talked a bit about the other works in her family series. Trina lived with my parents for about three years, and before that she lived with my mother's older cousin, so we knew her for a very long time. She was almost part of the family. Trina had at one point wanted to take over my father's garden, which is very large, and she decided beyond her capabilities, so she started growing pots of herbs. She very much enjoyed doing that, and she used them in her cooking a lot. All the time that I was in Pleasantville at my parents' house, Stefan was at home alone with the cats. And here he is with Raul, who very much liked to keep Stefan company. And they are reading together. I like the light from the iPad shining on his face and the white cat. Me on the right drawing, my sister Lisa on the left reading, just sitting on the patio. Lisa reading on the patio, the garage behind her. These are all things that eventually became part of the larger painting in some way. Lisa, you were reading a Kindle on Jenny's painting. What were you reading? I don't know. I just kept reading. I couldn't bring a hundred books. I was there for <laughs> weeks, months. 
house in Pleasantville. In reality, you couldn't really see the house like that from the front. There were trees and all kinds of stuff blocking the view, but I opened it up so you could actually see the house. The tree with vultures. They came and roosted there every year at a certain, I think, late fall. And they just cover the tree, and it was interesting and eerie. I tried to get the feel of that, this dark, ancient pine tree full of vultures. My mother sitting in the sun on the patio. She was very frail at this point, and it was very hard to get her to come sit outside. But once she was there, she was very, very attentive to what was going on around her. She listened to the crows squawking, and I put them in one of the other pieces, a tree with crows. And she would look at the sun on the trees and the shapes of the trees, and she just became incredibly observant of the backyard. And I painted her there, just resting in this comfortable chair. Me in a flowered shirt, feeling kind of grim, I think, in that my expression, and then wearing a very cheerfully colored shirt that had been both mine and my mother's at different times. I was in the hospital with my father at the beginning of the pandemic, wearing that mask and all kinds of protective equipment that they gave me to wear. And I think I was the last visitor in the hospital before they declared there were no visitors allowed at all. My father's fountain, that little figure was from his parents' house where he grew up. I made that into a functioning fountain for a while, was constantly fussing with it, trying to get it to work. And now it is at my house. A little portrait of me and my father, which I did from a photo after he died. I realized I hadn't really done a, a drawing of him recently and wanted to have one, so. The silver lining, of course, is that Jenny's parents had a wonderful life together. I asked Jenny to tell me what they did for a living. My mom was a school teacher. And looking at this photograph, I would not be surprised if a bunch of her students had a bit of a crush on her. My father was a psychologist. He was 94 and still working full time when he died. I think your father was a remarkable guy. Didn't he run an actual theater for years? Yes, that's true. He had a theater called the Theater Place in Pleasantville. And the people who were involved in that theater still talk about how much it affected their lives, how important it was to them. Did he ever try to get you to unleash your inner actress? No. <laughs> All right, just say, Stella! No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, Dr. Baker, I gave it my best shot, but that daughter of yours just won't take direction. But the theater's loss is the art world's gain. Lamentations, an art show by Jennifer Baker, will be on view at Rosemont College through December 4th, 2022. Thanks to Michael Wilsey and the Rosemont student athletes for their invaluable help in mounting this exhibition. <laughs>